this beautiful looking sequence was entirely edited on the Lenovo Legion Wi Fi 40. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Shomit, and you're watching PC Media. And today in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether the Lenovo Legion Wi Fi 40 is best for video editing or not. So, without any further ado, grab up your coffee and let's get started. So this laptop is packed with i7 9 gen and GTX 1650 graphic card and clearly it's a budget variant. And this is the variant which most people will buy for purposes related to gaming or video editing. So I'm using this laptop since November 2019 and my major agenda is editing. And since November, all the videos on my channel are edited on this laptop. Now when you go out to buy a laptop for editing, uh, let's make it more specific. Keeping in mind the COVID crisis, when you go online to buy a laptop for editing, you may or you should see the following aspects. First is ventilation, second processing power, third budget, fourth is your graphic card, fifth is your battery and sixth is your display. This laptop comes with two vents at the bottom and two vents at the back side of the laptop. The maximum temperature I have reached with this laptop is around 98 degrees while I was exporting an animated photo slideshow from the After Effects. While I was working on Premiere Pro, this laptop attains a temperature of around 70 degrees and while exporting around 75 degrees. I have already told you about the processor specs in the starting and in previous videos. And by the way, the card is up here to see the other videos regarding this laptop. You can check them if you want to. So i7 9 gen is fast but not the fastest. But for people low on budget, it's a feasible option. I usually do GPU rendering and just for sake of testing the processor, I exported a heavy graphic video through CPU encoder and it took around 35 minutes to export that 10 minutes of footage with some graphics and text. The most important aspect is the budget, the money you are and you can spend willingly. As I've already said earlier that the higher you spend, the better you get, which is the basic fundamental. But I would say currently the same variant that I am using which I bought for around 89,000 is retailing at just 68,000 due to the arrival of new Legion i series. So it's a golden opportunity for those who are thinking to buy this laptop. Best buy link would be in the description for your convenience. Display of this laptop is great. It's a 1920 x 1080p IPS display with brightness of 300 nits and it is clocked at 60Hz with vibrant colors and a perfect balance of RGB. The only minus point of this laptop is its battery. If I calculate the average editing time without the charger being plugged in with GPU on, it's around 1 hour 15 minutes which is very less. I usually edit videos while keeping it plugged in. Though this laptop is available with higher NVIDIA models, the budget variants are GTX 1650 and the GTX 1050. I am using the GTX 1650 variant that has so far not disappointed me in both gaming and editing. I exported the same 10 minutes footage with GPU rendering and it exported it in just under 7 minutes. I would say it's fast but not the fastest if we compare it with RTX which are meant for studio purposes. Finally, I would say that this laptop is great for those who want a good performing laptop and which is economically feasible. People who are using slow PCs for editing, it's an excellent choice for them to upgrade to this laptop as I did. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. So I hope you have understand whether this laptop is best for video editing or not, or whether this laptop is your daily driver for editing. And guys, if you are new to our channel, then we would be very happy if you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, then you can follow me with the link in the description. With that being said, thank you for watching and I would see you in my next video. Till then, peace.